Let's start living dangerously Talk to me, baby I'm rolling up the mirrors Sweet, sweet, baby And if you haven't ever seen me before, then make sure to click that subscribe button to get notified whenever I post a new video because I want to. Okay, so today I'm doing a DIY room decor video. You're going to see some Tumblr girly room decor DIYs and organization. Are you excited? So I want to thank Pandora for making this video possible because without their help or their products, these DIYs would never come to life. So if you want to remake any of these DIYs I made here today, you can go ahead and check out Pandora's website or go to any of their stores in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. And stay tuned to the end of this video because there might be a giveaway. Hint, hint. And I'm collabing with Brianna on this video. She's an awesome YouTuber, guys. You have to check out her channel. She's also doing a DIY room decor video, so you can check out her video in the description box down below. Her video is legit awesome. And that is basically that. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. The masterpiece, the waste time with the masterpiece. Uh, you should be rolling with me. You should be rolling with me. Uh. So the first things we're going to be making today is some DIY organizers. So what you're going to need will be some mason jars, some vintage matte furniture paint, and a big brush. So we want to start out with painting one coat of the paint on the jar. And I would recommend getting some matte paint because uh, when you paint with shiny kind of paint on glass, it doesn't look really good. So go get you some matte paint and thank me later. So when you're done with painting the jars, either one layer or two layers, you want to just go ahead and let them dry for approximately one to two hours. And after that, you're done. You can go ahead and fill it up with whatever you desire. Sharpies, pencils, flowers, whatever really. But you're moving so carefully, let's start living dangerously. DIY is a watercolor wall art, which kind of looks like broken glass to me. I don't know. It's a way you will need will be some paper, a scissor, a jar, some paint, and a canvas, and also a glue stick. Start out with cutting the paper into small, like triangle kind of shapes, and then you want to take your paint, either watercolor or normal acrylic paint, and you just want to kind of um, scrape it off with your pencil on top of the glass. And it automatically kind of looks like water marble, you know, the thing you do to your nails that was like super trendy two years ago. And then you want to go ahead and stick your paper piece, paper triangle, whatever really, into that and you want to repeat it with many different colors until you have approximately 30 pieces of paper. Now this part is pretty self-explanatory, what we're going to do is put some glue on the canvas and then basically just glue the paper on and continue doing that until you're done. So now that you're done, you could go ahead and cover it all with Mod Podge or you could just leave it like that and hang it up on your wall and kaboom, you're done. seen this DIY before but if you haven't I'm showing it to you guys right now so what you'll need is a um, memory pictures preferably of you but you could also put in some inspo pictures and they're also going to need some tape start off with cutting up some washi tape and then go ahead and put the washi tape on the picture and hang the pictures up on the wall choose whatever pattern your heart desires make it fun and you're done that rhymed it was not planned I promise <laughs> that she's capable of anything it's riveting so the next DIY is a DIY nightstand, and yes, you saw and heard right, we're making a nightstand. So what you will need will be some paint, a big rectangular box, some design foil, a paper knife, and a painting brush. And also, if this is optional, you could use some table legs. So I started out with painting the inside of the box white because I wanted the outside to be matching my floor, which was this light wood. So I went over to paint white inside the box two times to make sure the paint was opaque. And after that, I got my measuring band and I measured the inside of the box both lengthwise and heightwise inside. He sang a song when he did it. He was after that, I got my design pearl out and I went ahead and drew on the exact measurements of the inside of the box. Then I got my roller knife out. You can also use a paper knife here. It doesn't really matter. And then I just cut the shape out and then I went ahead and put the design pearl into my box and I peeled off the back and stuck it into my box using a ruler to flatten it all out 
Now this part is optional, but if you want to add some legs to your night table, you can go ahead and buy some and then screw it all into place under your night table. Get some help from your parents, that's what I did. And then you're done. It looks amazing, doesn't it? So now the final and last DIY is this glowy hashtag, which is legit perfection. So what you're going to need is this hashtag set for Prender, which basically has everything you need in it, and a paint and a paintbrush. I started with opening the package up, and, and then I grabbed my paintbrush and my pink paint, and, and I splashed them on the magazine paper, and then I started out with painting the entire outside of the hashtag. You could also paint inside if you want to, but I decided to just go with the outside. Then I got my fairy lights, which were included in the package, and I put them into the holes. And then I went ahead and got out the light bulbs, and I put those on top of the fairy lights. And after that, I was done. And that was how easy that was. You can add some batteries to the back, and then it lights up. What? And that was pretty much all of the DIYs. I hope you guys liked all of them and stay tuned for the giveaway. Okay, so I hinted you guys about a little giveaway that I was going to have at the end of this video, and it's true. So what you're going to win is all the supplies you'll need to make one of the DIYs in this video. So as you know, I teamed up with Panduro on this video. They're basically a craft supply store online and in real life. So you're going to be able to win some of their craft supplies. So here are the rules to do exactly that. First of all, you've got to be subscribed to this channel. So go ahead and click the subscribe link right down there. Also, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below which of these DIYs you like the most and which one you would like to make yourself. And also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is MadelineH09. And also, this is optional, but go ahead and check out Pandora's website because they have amazing products, you guys. So 1st of April, I will go out and pick one lucky winner to win the craft supplies he or she needs to make whatever of these DIYs. And that is that. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to join the giveaway because it is free. You just need to follow the rules. And yeah, I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye, guys!